What is up YouTube? I am back with a very important topic here, how to transfer information onto your Synology NAS. As you can see, I'm in Disk Station Manager right now and I've got File Station open and I'm actually browsing a drive that I have plugged in. Um, so you can see on the left, I've got USB Share 1 and USB Share 2. Um, and I wanna transfer information from the USB Share onto my NAS. Um, so I'm in the share right now, and I'm trying to drag and drop, but you can see it's asking me if I want to move, and I don't really want to move any information, I just want to copy it. So right click, hit copy, and now I'm going to go into the folder I want to copy to, which is my photos folder, and I'm going to hit paste, but you can see there's two paste options. I chose paste skip. Um, if it finds any duplicates, it's just going to skip over them, and as you can see, I'm getting pretty good write speeds. Um, just about 20 megabytes a second. Let's go ahead, we'll start one more. Um, I'm gonna go into the USB share 2 again. I'm gonna hop in, I've got some 3D movies here, and I'm gonna copy the whole 3D movies folder into my videos folder on my NAS. Once again, we are taking the files off of an external drive plug directly into my NAS and just dragging and dropping them onto folders that we already have. So s jumping right over here, what if I don't have a folder? What if I need to create a folder? Super, super easy. Um, right at the top, so you can see in my, my USB uh, external drive that's plugged in, I have a downloads folder, um, but I don't have a downloads folder on my NAS yet. So I need to create one. So I select a create folder and let's see what happens when I try to create a downloads folder. It just created a folder within a folder I already have. So the term we really have to look into here is a shared folder. And what a shared folder is, is it is a folder on your NAS. In Linux, a shared folder is just a fo folder that multiple users can access. So I hit create. I'm creating a new shared folder. You're going to have to give it a name, of course, um, and I'm naming mine Downloads. This is just an easy place where I can put everything I download on all my machines. So here we go. Let's name this guy. You can put a description if you want. It's really not necessary. And then there's a whole bunch of other boxes you can check that are pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to leave mine as default. I don't really need to do anything special with mine. And now we can see that downloads is up there, uh, but I have some other permissions to set up, like who can access the downloads folder. Um, so we have no access, read, write, or read only. Uh, there's a custom option as well. Um, but I'm going to set, of course, admin and myself to reading and writing. Guest, I'm going to put to read only. Um, and then, of course, the rest of my users I actually end up switching to read and write as well. And now it's set. So I have my new downloads folder where I can now drag and drop some more info into. The last method that is very important is going to be transferring information from your local area network. To be able to do this, you need to make sure you create an account for yourself. So we went into control panel here and we're gonna create a new user. I'm naming my user as myself because I'm making it for myself. And just fill in all this information here. I'm creating just a simple password. The password I'm creating here is just password. Um, and then of course you have um, some authentication issues. If you wanna send an email to that person, you can give that person um, the group that you want so I made myself an administrator and a user and I hit next rewrite access for everything um, because why not really I unchecked uh, some of the system folders that I don't need and here we go next the quota for Ayrton's own Nike is unlimited perfect and then other permissions I allowed all because they're for myself of course if you're creating a user for someone else you might have to alter that a little bit and now the user is saved. I'm gonna jump out of here onto my actual desktop and we can see Azal's NAS shows up. I'm gonna connect as the registered user. So my name has already showed up there. 
and now I type in the password I created and hit connect. And ta-da, we are now inside the NAS. Uh, I have a video folder up right above my finder window and I'm gonna just drag and drop that into the videos folder I already have set up on my NAS. And there we go. This is a 3.13, yeah, 3.13 gigabyte file, so it's pretty large. And as you can see, it is transferring significantly fast over the local area network. And if I jump back over to my NAS, you can see Ayrton Zotendijk has now popped up using the Apple file protocol. Um, and file is finished transporting. And that's it. You'd have to drag and drop, of course, all your information. You can also see in the uh, little stats at the bottom right there that I was getting about 85 megabytes a second. So that's great. That's a great speed. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, of course, subscribe to the channel so you can be kept up to date on all my Synology videos and everything else. And as always, have a good one. Bye-bye.